Hey, today I wanted to show you a restorative pose called constructive rest. Um, so that'll take a few minutes um, for me to show you the options that you would have. I'd like you to have a couple of blankets. Um, I'd like you to have a belt and it literally, if you have a yoga um, strap, that's great um, because that's an option that you can use. Or if you had a larger belt, possibly, that's probably, yeah. But I'd want it to be a larger belt. So, but you do not have to have that. So starting off with a couple of blankets, I'm just gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna put that on one side of the mat for my head, okay? And then I'm putting one towards my feet, okay? Um, I'll just show you basic constructive rest first, okay? So again, um, if you watched a previous video on Shavasana, I like to really use my hands to kind of like push away and lengthen the spine as I go down. And the blanket, I like to have butted right against the shoulders. And then so the blanket that's um, by my feet the, just the ball of my foot, just that area um, right behind the toes and the toes are resting on the blanket that's there. So if you need to adjust your blanket, go ahead. And I like to really wiggle into things when I lay down in a restorative pose and feel really comfy. Um, my heels are on the mat again and the ball of the foot on the blanket just gives a little ease to um, the hips. And so constructive rest is simply this. And my knees, kind of go this way, my knees can be like hip width apart straight. Or you can walk your feet out and have your knees fall in towards each other. Okay, that is not my preferred, but it may be yours. Again, with your the ball of your foot still on the blanket. Okay, so I like mine more like this, hip width apart. And one way um, that I can keep it like that and feel really supported is to use a strap. So if you have a strap, um, you probably know how to use it, but through the two rings, if you have one with a ring, and then back through one ring so that it's nice and steady. Okay, and I'll slip my feet through the ring. And then the strap, and I'll just kind of stand up to show you, kind of want it around the meat of your thighs, but not tight so that it's constrictive. And the buckle part, whatever that looks like for you, even if you were using a belt, I'd want it in the center of the legs so that the buckle is not pressing in to the thigh either. Whenever you do a restorative pose, you want to make it as comfortable as possible. So I'm always thinking in my head, how could I be, you know, 10% more comfortable? So it's worth it to take the time, trust me. Okay, so I'll come back down again and here, with the strap on, I can tighten it from here. Not real tight, constrictive, just tight enough so, ah, I can keep those, keep my knees hip width apart and feel completely supported and just let go. Now I, so, <clears throat> I'm just gonna have you put your hands by your side, palms up. Okay, now that to me feels good and keeps my shoulders more on the earth. Um, we tend, tend to be like this more often than not. We as people, especially now, I'm sure some of us are looking through social media, et cetera, et cetera, to stay connected on our phones or iPads or whatever. But it would be completely acceptable to have your palms down also. To me, that's kind of going more in also. 
So your choice, so many choices with all these things. Um, if my palms are up, I have these wonderful things called hearts of love. And um, if you have any sort of bean bag sort of thing that could give weight, maybe some of your kids do if you have kids at home, have a bean bag sort of thing that can ah put some weight in the palm of your hand. I love that. So this is a go-to. I if you have glasses, I would take them off. Okay. And if you have a washcloth, you might want to just put your washcloth over your head. All right. Imperfectly perfect. I didn't say, I don't think in the beginning that once I get you here, I'm going to lead you through a body awareness meditation. Bam. Body awareness meditation today. Okay. So I'll give you a few minutes to get set up. because I will sit up and lead you through a meditation, which is going to be interesting for me because typically when I'm doing this, I have class or I have an individual that I'm working at with and looking at their body. So if I miss some parts, yeah, add them in yourself. <laughs> yeah. So you're lying on your mat. Hopefully you have gotten as comfortable as you can. Another thing I should have said is put a blanket over you if you want. Warmth is great for restorative poses. Weight is good. Um, darkness is good. That's why I had the um, suggested the washcloth over the eyes or an eye pillow if you have that sort of thing. So with that, there's no need to do anything as I lead you through, call it a tour of your body. So we're just noticing, no need to do anything. So we'll start at the head and travel down towards the feet. So feel your head resting on the blanket. Notice if you can feel the temperature of the air in your scalp. Feel the eyes soften. Can they just rest? in their sockets. Notice space in the cheeks. Be aware of the shape of your ear. And can you hear? Like, what do you hear? Notice the jawline drawing from the ears down to the chin. So the whole face. Does it feel relaxed or is it still holding tension? Just notice. Have an awareness of the gentle curves of your neck and any space around the neck. Feel the shoulders resting on the earth. And the solid part in the back of, you know, the shoulder blades and the shoulders. 
solid one there. Be aware of the, their chest. And then go to the middle part of the body. The ribs. So, is there any movement in the ribs? Side to side, up and down. Maybe there isn't. The front body being able to move, the back body solid against the earth. So then as we travel down the spine, as we've traveled down the spine, now go back and, and notice the parts of the spine touching or not touching the earth. And the soft belly. So the soft belly is supported by that broad, strong back. So we're more open in the front and the belly. Maybe you notice any rise and fall in the belly. Soft belly supported by the pelvis, held by the pelvis. Can we imagine ourselves held? Feel the strong back parts of the pelvis resting on your earth. The sacrum, if you're familiar with that. Just those solid bones in the hips resting on the earth. So notice where the <clears throat> Notice where the legs connect with the hip. Is there any space in the front there in the bend? So just let your mind travel to that area and be aware of that connection. And from there, the thighs extend up towards the knees. So so imagine into the, the solid bone, that big femur bone in the leg, and the flesh just, you know, soft around it. You have the bend of the knee. So solid kneecap. And then the bend in the back of the knee. Maybe there's some space there. Breathe into that. Then from the knee, down the shin bone, solid shin bone with your, your calf muscles just relaxed, hanging from the shin bone. And then we come to the, <clears throat> the ankles in the curve of the leg where it begins to meet the heel. Feel the weight of the heels on the mat. So notice the, the top of the foot, how it's bent down towards the toes. Be aware of the toes and the spaces between the toes. So 
So the bottom of the foot. Notice any areas of the bottom of the foot that are touching um, something, perhaps the mat or the blanket, and the parts where there's still some space left underneath them. So really think about the bottom of the foot. The sole of the foot really, um, they say, connects to our soles. So as my words fade, I'll give you a few moments to be aware of any parts of the body um, that we missed, that you feel were missed for you, um, or any part where you're still holding on, on to something that you'd like to let go of. So in silence, I'll give you a moment, about five breaths. my words start to come back take your time still notice and be aware of yourself on your mat your whole self be aware of your whole self within the room that you are that you are in and then even if you want to go ahead and put your hand on your heart, be aware of yourself connected to this whole big community of humans here on earth. Um, even in isolation, we are all still connected. So that's the end of the breath awareness meditation. I hope that's something that you can come back to and use or modify yourself. You can just think yourself through that at any time that you want. Um, but that is an amazing practice that for me that I use um, in my urban Zen integrative therapy. So I hope that worked for you. I love you. Out. Till next time. Bye.